good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Name Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 51. We got some really good stuff going on here today. First episode back since episode 50, and we have sort of a marathon going on. Well, you can see, guys, we have a ton of Seth Rollins figures. We have Viscera on the table. We got a Ronda Rousey. We got a lot of the figures that we picked up on our Buy Everything at Walmart challenge. Yesterday we unboxed all of those figures, and today we're going to put some of those to use. Not every single one of them, but some of them. And today I'm actually kind of afraid and I'll explain to you why I'm afraid here in a little bit. We may even have to go to the kitchen because I'm so scared and it may actually be quicker to go to the kitchen to be honest with you. But yeah, let's let's go ahead and dive into what we're going to do here today so that we don't have to do that part anymore, which was a weird way to phrase it. So getting into it guys, the first thing that I want to do today is I want to cut off this viscera rubber coat thing. If you guys are wondering what this looks like underneath, I think I'm going to cut this thing off. Get back in line, ho. I'm going to be cutting this rubber jacket off of Viscera, seeing what it looks like underneath, seeing what his articulation is like underneath, just because I already have one of them, and I would like to see what it looks like. Maybe we can make a cloth one later. Maybe we can do some other things with it. We're just going to find out here together, so I am going to cut this in half and pull that off just to see what it looks like. That's just part of the surgery today. Cutting the thing off, getting rid of it. That is the first thing that I want to do, so we're just going to look at that. Next up, guys, something that I think would be really, really awesome is I had this idea and I got inspired by my boy Curb Stomp City Custom Decals. He's where I get all of my decals from. He did a UFC Ronda Rousey, and the way he did it is he took either an Elite or the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, and he replaced the lower legs with UFC lower legs. Now, I don't know if he used Connor. He may not have used Connor because the Connor is going to make her super short, but putting these lower legs onto Ronda are going to give her the UFC look, and he also put some UFC arms on there. Not arms, but the hands. So I am going to put the fist glove hands on there. I'm going to put the fisted glove hands on there, and I'm going to also put the lower legs from this Connor over there to give us a UFC style Ronda Rousey. Now, I think he may have, he either used an Ultimate Edition Ronda, he probably used a different UFC figure legs. I'm not sure if he used this Connor one or if he used, you know, some other, I don't know all the different skin tones. Now, I'm not sure if it was Connor or somebody else in that set, but maybe we can find that out. My Walmart still has some of the UFC figures, so if it's wrong and it's too short and I need different legs, I can always switch it, but it's definitely going to make her shorter. It's probably going to make her half an inch shorter, which I just want to kind of test it out, see what it looks like, show it to you guys so you guys can kind of see what we're dealing with and what that looks like. Maybe you guys would want to do it too. So we're going to do that as well, and we are going to be using the UFC gloved hand, so I want to put that over there. We're also going to just be removing the knee pads and the head sculpt from the Finn Balor basic, so I do have the basic here, and I do have the one basic back here, and that is pretty, pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy right there. Just remove these head sculpts, remove these knee pads, and we're probably going to put the knee pads in my lower leg fodder box and then we're also going to put the heads in my little Finn Balor baggie because I have a whole baggie dedicated to just Finn Balor fodder. I do the same thing for Jeff Hardy, John Cena. I think I, I have a whole fodder box committed to Seth Rollins so we'll have to just uh, see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and grab the baggie now that way it'll be easier to put in there once we're completed. And then the last thing that I want to do here today is I want to take, you guys can see all these different figures right? Okay so since we have so many of this like top talent, I think we have seven. We have seven of this top talent's head sculpt from different figures that I bought and then we have that buy everything from Walmart where we got three extras. I'm just going to do a marathon of popping these heads off. I, I cannot stand this head sculpt so these two got to go. I have multiples of all these figures and some of these I don't have a fix up where I have this head sculpt on there so I figure what better way than to pop off all those head sculpts. Go ahead get all those head switches done and just see what looks good. You know I'm sure that head sculpt's going to look a lot better than most of these. I know that a lot of people like this one but I already have a lot of that one fixed up on a, dun a ton of different Seth Rollins figures. And specifically on the SummerSlam one, we are going to replace the arms with original SummerSlam arms and then put the vest back on there before we put them back on the shelf over there. But once we're done today, guys, we're going to have a ton of great Seth Rollins fix-ups with that head sculpt. You guys can see what different ones look like with it. We'll have, you know, some other things figured out and, you know, we'll get everything done. So let's shut the hell up and dive into WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 51. Alright guys, so our first order of business, I guess, will be to cut off the Viscera jacket. Now this shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully we don't cut anything. We don't mess ourselves up here. But I guess I'm just going to take the seam right here and just kind of cut it straight up the, up the belly right there. And uh, yeah. All right, guys, we finally got it off here. Let's go ahead and remove this from the figure here, and I can kind of see what they've done here. So what they did 
is essentially they gave him the same torso as King Mabel, except he doesn't have any colors on there. Let's go ahead and raise this up, you jackass. So you guys can see right here, it literally is like a King Mabel torso, and it looks like they may have added some extra sculpt in there. I'm not sure exactly why, but you guys can see the articulation is definitely a lot better now that we've removed that. Um, the only thing is, is it looks like he's just wearing a full black like bodysuit or something, which looks absolutely absurd and crazy, but he can definitely move a lot better than uh, he used to, and he's got this massive trench coat thing, like good God in heaven. I don't know what we'll use this for, but I don't know. Now I know. Now I know what it looks like, and I don't know. Maybe we can fix that up or do something in the future, but there you go. Viscera is completed. I know we usually take a look at it at the end, but for that one, I don't think anybody was waiting around for that one, Brad. I don't know. You might have been. But look at this shell. Look at this big shell we got now. What do you do with that? All right, guys, our next order of business is going to be the Ronda Football Rousey. Now, this one should be easy. All we got to do is pop out these hands right here. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Get over here, remove the other hand as well so our Ronda hands can go over here and just go off into oblivion. And then we're going to take our UFC hands. This is the left hand, so we're just going to push this in here. I think it goes in relatively, I don't think it goes in easy, but it does go in with a little bit of forcage. So you just, it definitely, it definitely does take some forcage. I'm not going to be with you, but that's good that they won't be loosey-goosey. Okay, so that is in there, and that's what it looks like. It definitely doesn't look bad. Like, that totally works. That totally works, Brad. And then we'll push in the right hand, so she'll have the two fists. Another huge shout-out to Curb Stomp City for the idea on this, because I think this is super badass. I know she'll have the yellow stripe on her wrist gauntlets, but it'll tie into the attire. I know she also has that makeup on, but I don't know. Maybe we can fix that at a later date. I want to get a... Uh, you know what I really want to do? I have another cool fix-up that I want to do, where it's like converting the ultimate into a black attire, but now we're going to have to get the white trusty hair dryer in here to pop these lower legs off and put these lower legs on there. So that'll be funzy magunzy. I didn't like that rhyme as much as I have in the past. There's better rhymes than that, but there's that. All right, now we're going to heat up these lower legs and see if we can get them on there. I don't know how well it's going to go. I have put the uh, Mattel upper legs with the Kenny Omega lower legs, so maybe it'll be the same way with the Jazzwares UFC figures. Hopefully that will work out perfectly and we won't won't run into any issues here, but let's find out. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, that was a long-ass time. I was sending a text to Brad, so now my fingers are going to fall the hell off if I try to get these off. Okay, that wasn't actually that bad. Pretty pretty good football job right there. Okay, that one's good. Popping over here. Let's go ahead and get a little zoom in football. All right, there we go. Oh, Lord have mercy, boy. Woo! All right, got that out. Let's go ahead and the peg is even hot. If the peg's hot, You've effed up. All right. Who God in heaven, Jesus. All right. I, I think we're going to be able to do the switch without, you know, completely killing me, but we'll see. Oh, God. It's just so loosey-goosey, and it's so hot, man. Oh, my God in heaven. I need fingertip gloves. You know, like there's fingertipless gloves like The Undertaker. I need the opposite. I need gloves that just have fingertips on them. Does that exist? All right. There's the one UFC leg. Reminded me of SpongeBob just then, I guess because I said C leg. I don't know why. Just kind of popped in my head there. Jesus in heaven and Lord God Almighty. You know what just popped in my head? Has anyone ever done the surgery alongside me? You ever seen what I'm doing in the surgery and been like, I got those parts. Let me go do it exactly how he's doing it and see what the steps are. Has anybody ever done that? Does that even happen? Or do you just sit back and say, I wonder what the hell this idiot's doing today, Brad, and you just watch it. God, come on, Brad. I think we've gotten, okay, we got the one side in. Just push that up and then push that through and we're freaking go okay we got it hell yeah hell yeah all right we'll take a closer look at ronda football rousey at the end and you guys can let me know what you think about that i'm already looking at some football issues which we'll get into but i don't know we'll look at we'll look at, we'll look at that at the end and now my connor has no lower legs which is bs you know like suck I want, I want to have a full thing of these, and now my Connor's all effed. We'll have to look at him later. But now it is Seth Rollins' head sculpt. Actually, no, it's not Seth Rollins' head sculpt time, you stupid idiot. It's actually rip these kick pads off of these Finn Balor's time and get these kick pads or these uh, knee pads off. So, again, if you guys missed the review the other day, if you guys ever want to get knee pads off of new basics, I'll even do it with Seth Rollins right quick as well. All you got to do is literally just... 
pull this back right here, usually it works. It, it embarrassed me yesterday too, and it looks like it's doing it again today, but you can easily pop off the kick pads without any heat, and you can just slide these right off. There's the one, there's the two, and then the head sculpt you cannot do because it'll snap the peg right in half, but you can do the same thing up here. I found that it absolutely works. I don't know why I just did that 360, but just like that kind of painful, not gonna lie. But if you don't want to heat it up, you just, bit it. I guess if, especially if you don't, if you don't give a rip about the John Brown peg right there, which I usually don't, it also makes it super kind of loosey-goosey, but now my technique's all effed. And there you go, so I snap the peg. Forget what I say. So pulling the knee pad off there and pulling the other knee pad off here, I'm disappointed with that. Mm. All right, the knee pads are gonna go in my little leg fodder box because I put all my knee pads in one spot, and hopefully we can use those in the future. But all right, guys, now it is time to move on to our Seth Rollins head swapping, which I will explain exactly why that scares the absolute hell out of me. We're gonna also take these fin head sculpts off when we take the Seth Rollins head sculpts off, so don't worry about that. We'll get into this in a second. We're gonna just take this and gun it across the room because I'm so fed up with it. All right, guys, so now we are here in my damn kitchen for the last part of action figure surgery. I don't think we've been in the kitchen for surgery in a long time, so if there's a slight echo, I do apologize because of the, you know, the, the big old, there's not a lot of wall around me here, so it's kind of an open floor there. Big echoing noises, so right here we have my big nice cereal bowl. If you guys eat cereal and it's not in a deep-ass bowl like this, I mean, you gotta have a nice deep bowl for cereal. This is a good-ass cereal bowl, Brad. If you're like me and you like cereal, did you know you know how to get a cereal bowl. But anyways, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this thing up with water. I'm gonna heat the water up for probably five minutes simply because I want these heads to be nice and easy to pull off, okay? So what I'm most afraid of when I'm explaining this, I'm, a, I'm afraid to use the hair dryer because you know as well as I do, head sculpts that have the long hair piece right here, like Seth Rollins, you know, Roman Reigns, guys like that. When the head gets heated up, so does the upper torso, and when you're pulling the head sculpt off, you could easily like bend the neck back and snap that neck peg. You could, you know, you could ruin the torso, you ruin the figure completely. And I do not want that for my Seth Rollins figures, especially this many at once. And it's going to be very risky. I think the smiling head sculpt is one of the worst ones you can do. And we have three of those here. We have two of the pissed off, and then we have a couple of the top talents who are all also awful at that. So we're going to fill this bowl with water. Then we're going to heat up the bowl of water for like five minutes. I want it to be like bubbling. I'm going to use a towel to get it out bring it out here, and then we're going to put all of these head sculpts in there at once, as well as the basic head sculpts, as well as the head sculpts that aren't attached to anything. It's going to be one big cauldron of Seth Rollins head sculpts, looking like a damn witch out here. But first off, before we do anything, you guys probably already know what I'm going to say. You see these Seth Rollins vests right here that we have on these figures? Got to take them off. Got to get all the Seth Rollins vests off. So we are going to remove the white one, the Chicago Bears one, the SummerSlam 2016, and then we have the WrestleMania 33. We're going to take all those vests off, fill this up with water, and then we are going to put this in the microwave, wait on it, put all the head sculpts in there, and hopefully we don't run into any snapped head sculpts. Hopefully I can get all those and pop them off easily, and god dang, man, I'm going to be one upset mofo if I F up any of that. But let's just shut the hell up and get into it, guys. The first thing we got to do is fill this up with water. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. And then we have to, of course, take off all of these Seth Rollins vests and get them off to the side. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And there we go. So now what we have to do is fill up. Oh, wait, we just did that. So now what we have to do is put this in the microwave. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. My camera's on the tripod, so I'm not even going to try and move it because my tripod's broken. I don't want the hoe to hit the ground. But I am going to put this in the microwave for five minutes, and then uh, I'll see you guys on the other side. All right, guys, the water is done, and I have to be, like, ridiculously careful with this because if I spill this water on me, you are gonna, oh, my God in heaven. It would be just ridiculous. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off by just tossing these Top Talents head sculpts in there. It's like what I like to call it because it is the Top Talents head sculpt. And then we are going to go ahead and put all of these Seth Rollins head sculpts in here very, very strategically. Now, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this, like kind of grabbing onto the side there. I hope we can fit them all in there. If we can't fit them all in there, it's going to be devastating, but I really don't want to heat up all of it, all of it, you know. I want to get the heads in there as much as possible without getting like any of the other parts of 
the figure in there. I really want the head sculpt to be the main thing that gets heated up. That way we don't have to worry about the torso cracking. You know what I'm saying? Actually, this may be a better method right here, but I need something to hold the legs. Maybe, ah, uh, geez. I really don't want the torso getting in there, bro, because it, like, this water's so hot, it could heat up the torso and basically be like a torso crack. You know what I'm saying? Christ. Trying to do this very strategically. Now, we need the arms of the SummerSlam to go in there, so that one can go in there. Maybe, like, weighing each other down would be the best thing, you know? Like, then stacking on top of each other and heating themselves up. Jesus Christ, what is happening? All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Well, this just, I mean, that's, uh, that's something. All right, one more little piece piece here. I don't know how this head's gonna get in here. Jesus, Lord in heaven. Is there a little gap right here? Alright, there we go. Alright, I'll hit you guys when it's been a couple you know, seconds and stuff, and then once these are removed, we're gonna have to throw those basic head sculpts in there, as and with the fin head sculpts. And I do have a towel right here. If you guys are gonna do this as well, definitely have a towel handy. That way you can take them out and dry them off real quick. It's still gonna be hot, so definitely be careful. You may even wanna wear gloves, but I'm gonna try my best here and uh, try to get this. All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and start off with the first one. Hopefully, again, we don't run into any issues here. I'm gonna use the towel as like a little shield right here. And geez, man, I don't even know. The head's very squishy. All right, there we go. And also the water acts as like a little lube. The water acts as kind of like a lubricant, you know? So it kind of works even better than, you know, the, the hair dryer. So that's the whole point that I'm trying to make is that the, the water acts better because the, the water is more of a, you know, it creates like a slipperation there, which is a dumb way of saying it. But yeah, dude, this was definitely the safer option for sure. Because, dude, if I would have snapped these necks, I would have been so freaking pissed. So what I do is I get up in there, and I put my thumbnail underneath that little neck, uh, underneath where the head skull, or the little peg hole in the neck is, and that's the best way to do it. Get you, like, try to lift the head as much as possible, putting your thumbnail, like, right there where the peg hole is, and you can kind of scrape it over that peg. I don't know if I'm even describing it in a very good way, but... There we go, got the next one. And then moving on to the Elite 75 right here. I hope I'm getting everything on camera for you guys. And I'm sorry if I'm being like kind of quiet. I'm trying to skip around as much as possible. I just do not want to snap these neck pegs. Because this is the whole, you know, like if I if I sit here and I rush it and I try to make sure that I'm getting it on camera, I may end up breaking a neck peg. And then if I break a neck peg, then I've defeated the whole purpose of what I came into the you know, my damn kitchen to do. And when we go to the my damn kitchen, we don't want to blow anything. There we go. And then one more here. And if you guys are wondering how I'm going to get those head sculpts out of that water right there, it's going to be with a fork or something. So, all right, there we go. We got all the head sculpts off here. Now, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and stick these head sculpts down in here. And I really don't give a damn if the whole figure got caught on fire at this point. As long as it's not causing any damage to the figure itself or the head sculpt, which it won't because it's just water, then I'm not worried about it. We'll pop those off here in a jiffy. But there is all of our Seth Rollins head sculpts right there. And then we did also have to switch out these arms for the SummerSlam figure. So here is that arm and there is that arm and we'll go ahead and toss these arms into the water as well to make sure we get those heated up to pop those on there. But yeah, all these figures are super loosey-goosey because of that hot water. But I'll see you guys when we pop all these head sculpts over here. All right, guys, this should be good enough. We're going to start off with the fin head sculpts just because we're just removing these and we're not going to do anything with them. So there's the first one right there. And then the second one right here. So see, it's kind of a method. You pop it on there. Oh God, I think I just did something. Oh, I thought I, I thought I tore the freaking cheek or jaw right here from the ear. I thought we messed up, but we did not. We're okay. All right, let's move on to the Seth Rollins head sculpts. Now these should be easy. We've gotten enough practice in this episode, so there you go. There's the one. Moving that over there, and then moving on to number two, like so. And some water is probably going to come dripping out of there. So uh, if you're doing this in your kitchen with your mom or your wife or your girlfriend or nobody, I guess if you have nobody, then you're Mr. Lonely. Like like Akon, but if you, uh, you know, be sure to mop up that water, man. Get some paper towels and mop that water up. That way you don't get, you don't get yelled at. All right, now we got all these head sculpts off. I'm going to go ahead and pop some of these on here just because they're already hot, you know, and you want to go ahead and just pop this on. So there's our one, and then here's our two. WrestleMania 33 figure. I don't think I've seen this fix up before. I may have. I just don't remember it somewhere, but there's that one. I'm keeping this here because we got to get those arms on there, but here is the other top talents going on the original Elite 75, which is also this head sculpt, so this one's not too special because we've already seen what that looks like, but nice fix up to have right there back in the original. All right, now we got to get the fork or a spoon, I guess. So get a spoon right here. Do a little cereal bowl bounce. 
Get these head sculpts out of here. Little water coming with it. Little water and Seth Rollins head cereal going on. Pop that out. Pop the arm out. Pop the other arm out. Leave that in there for a nice bowl of water cereal later. All right, we take this arm, go ahead and plop it in here. Other arm on this side. There we go, so there's our other SummerSlam Seth Rollins done right there. Now going to our next head sculpt, we're gonna pop this on here. We also wanna make sure we don't turn into a Kofi Kingston situation like we had on the last episode, or was it action figure appointment, where we freaking like effed up the neck and the neck peg slipped and it went through the side of the top of the torso. That was freaking tragic. But we're coming up on the end here. Two more Seth Rollins head sculpts to go on and then we will be pretty much where we wanna be. There you go. And last one, we have the SummerSlam 2016. And once I get this on, we will be all done with that and bam. All right, now we have all of our pile of Seth Rollins completed. I'm going to clean this mess up, and I will see you guys when we get back in the arena, and we will finish up this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, episode 51. All right, guys, we are back in the backstage area. I got all my Seth Rollins fix-ups done. I put all the extra fodder in their respective bags, in their respective fodder boxes and stuff. Before we get into it, here is the Ronda Rousey. So if you guys were wondering what the Ronda Rousey looked like right here, this is what she looks like, and I think it totally works. You know, the head sculpt's obviously not UFC accurate. The attire's not UFC accurate, but you could easily paint this black, put a UFC logo on there. You could cover up some of this stuff. You could definitely make it work. Now, the only thing I have an issue with is she's too small, I think. I, I, like the calves are a good proportion I think that like the proportion the skin tone's a little different I don't know if you guys can see that from different angles like that right there maybe not look so bad but up close you guys can see there is a difference but the only issue is I think Seth Rollins is six foot or six one and she's supposed to be five seven that's pretty significantly different that's more like she was five foot or five one in my personal opinion that's about where my wife comes up to me maybe just a little bit shorter or a little bit higher maybe but yeah she's definitely too too short. I don't know if uh, another figure's legs are better for this, but I thought it was still cool fix up if you guys want to do that. If you're just putting it on display, I still think the proportions are there, so it totally works. If you're doing a display or something, you could probably work that, but there is that. We already took a look at Viscera, so here is all of the Seth Rollins fix ups. I think they turned out great. They all look about how I thought they would. I really enjoy them. I think my favorite is probably the white Rollins. I just, you guys know how I am. The white gloves on there look so badass. I love this head sculpt, it looks great across the board. Can't wait to put these on the shelf get those uh, up there and make them look a little bit better i'm happy to have all these seth rollins fix-ups you guys can let me know down in the comment section below which one is your favorite out of all those do you like these head sculpts did you like the original head sculpt i know some people that hate this head sculpt so maybe you're not a fan of this head sculpt but i enjoyed this episode of action figure surgery guys it was a ton of fun let me know what you thought of it down in the comment section below i'm getting the hell out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i will see you guys in the next video Thank you.